Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another reaction video, man. We're watching Mike today. Mike Major, like I think. That's how you say it was his last name. I don't know. So if you're brand new, be sure you subscribe, drop a like, baby. You don't even drink the champagne, you just spray it at the other tables. <laughs> oh, okay. You're too old to be doing that. Wait, that's Logan. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, Mike sucks ass. No so it's amazing to watch him. Ray, summer Ray. Yep. I just heard from the management here that we can't unless the whole group is here by four fifteen. They cancel my reservation. I oh, lose the fucking Nobu Malibu. Mm -hmm. It's a go kart place. All right, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. When we're in Los hey, Angeles, it's nice. not always easy to figure out what to do. This All girl, right. you may remember, me and her did the RC airplanes together. You met her. You know her, but I know every week, week after week, I got to deliver the night shift because that's what the people want and that's what I'm going to give them. So I call the place, doo -doo 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 -doo. yo, go-kart <laughs> racing place. Hey, what's up? I'd like to reserve a spot for 12 of my closest friends. Oh, sorry. The only way you're going to be able to film and do that is if you rent the entire facility out. What? Yeah. Sorry, no. nigga, I went ahead and rented it out. Wow. Oh. I'm going to get a copyright strike. I yeah, that's down good. Down. What's going on? I hear this commotion from down the street. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here, man? I'm here to win first place. I didn't invite you. Actually, you did. That's how I found out. <laughs> hey, is it okay for uh, blind people to drive the cars? Yeah, so you plan to drive which one you guys are going to register for us? <laughs> is it okay for blind people? And she said, yeah, just go register. <laughs> you just stumped. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah dull, I just didn't man. see this. I, you can't see anything. Does that affect his ability to, to, to drive? My other senses have been heightened, so I can hear better, I can feel better, I can smell the track. Uh, I can just feel it out. I location. Like, <laughs> just like I can hold this one here, oh, by far. Oh. I can tell. Life moves fast, and sometimes you gotta move fast with it. You know, as far as yeah, you said, if you true. don't stop around and look at... What is it? You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Okay, so we're stopping and looking around at the go-karts, and wow, also at Kelsey's cool. pasty legs. No, stop. We're at a spray tank. Anyways, uh, okay. And now a word from our sponsors. All right, guys, listen up. Festival season is officially upon us. It's the springboard into summer with Coachella happening this weekend. And so that probably means you want some fresh gear. And luckily for you, today's video is sponsored once again by Culture Kings, my favorite store on the internet. I've been talking about these guys for years and months. Wait, I thought Culture Kings is Australian. Right? After month, they just dropped new hot shit. They just dropped all this Rick and Morty stuff. They got Seinfeld. And of course, Ooh. they got... The Night Shift collab over on their website. I just caught this Breaking Bad tee. I cut the sleeves off it. It's perfect for Coachella or the gym. And since I know you guys like to get your stuff quick, Culture Kings just started shipping directly from the United States. I've heard some people ordering, getting it as quick as two days later, guys. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Use code Mike to get a discount, as always, at Culture Kings, the hottest streetwear store on the internet. Let's get back to the Night Shift, baby. I know I told oh. you guys that I rented the whole place out, but before I could get the doors closed, a poor young man walked up. It's his birthday by himself. And he goes, can I use the go-kart track? And he said, nah, not today, Buster Brown. This rich motherfucker got the whole place rented. Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> we actually rented the track out to yeah, yeah. a YouTube video. You're not allowed to be a, a part of it. We don't have any slots for you, though. All right, that's all good. I, I, I thought I thought we were gonna, but we had like a bunch of people come and stuff. And, all right, so we'll walk, we'll walk out. All right, man. Let's see what the back <laughs> Take him to the back bro, of the I'm kidding, seat. dude. Come on, dude. What's wrong with you? They're gonna let the birthday boy suffer, dude. No, you're yeah, good, dude. You're with us. What's your name, bro? Casey. Casey, Mike, dude. Good to meet you. How old are you turning? 17. Oh, god dang, dude. Congrats. I remember I was 17. Did you just say I'm 18? Dude, I think I was 18. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. Your perfect age for the adult content. Nice. Which one is the best? Nah, Paul, bro. I don't Logan what? or Jake. My dad doesn't like either of them. I, I, I actually don't either, full transparency. Oh, really? So whatever your answer is here is completely warranted. That's, I don't really like either of them. Too. Yeah, same. Okay, perfect. I think my team is going to come through with the win. Mike is too old. He's not good at shit like this. He's got bad knees and bones. Who do you think is going to win? Me. Duh. Why are you so sure? Because I'm hot. I'm driving <laughs> under the influence. Duh. Do you think Mike's possible? That's not good. Uh, Mike's uh, going to uh, hit shit. It's just going to tip over. It's just, you ever seen Bowser in Mario Kart? He's just not fast enough. I am going to be like Toad. I don't even think Mike's fat ass is going to be able to get in the fucking seatbelt. <laughs> you dumbasses. Casey, don't make me regret this decision. I'm going to come talk to your fucking principal, I swear to God. Wow, that's 
fun, but that shit acts a lot. Mike wins and paid him off nice. just like his tall brother Fred. Oh my god, I wanna know. Yo, boy, subscribe. Oh, 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 oh. What you did in turn six is not that. fucking acceptable. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Why is everybody oh, assuming this? Fuck you, too, bro. Go on, get your fucking team, bro. Shit, man, just put some boxing gloves and then get it out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Second place in my book. <laughs> you seem like a real good kid. Stay on the right track, and most importantly, do not try drugs, and that includes marijuana. It's the gateway drug. I saw. Wait, what is the guy talking about? Is it old wise man? Anyway? One day it's a little puff puff outside the school. The next day you're giving a homeless person a head to get your hands on a crack rock. You know what I'm saying? The winning team will be receiving the golden K1 speed wow. trophy. Team oh Jeff. Dude, who's that bitch? She looks like a punster. Uh, 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 right behind my desk on Jeff. Wait, that's well, this guy, Bree on the tower, right? That was some cool go kart action. Look at us, we just zipped to Aspen. That kind of rhymed a little bit. You guys remember Charlotte? When's the last time you were on the vlog? Miami. And then, and then I put her on my Snapchat. She's good clickbait because she is really pretty, but she's not like I don't know if she's really built for like YouTube. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> she has an Instagram that has like four pictures on it. The last one was posted in like 2013. But I like that off the grid shit, dude. That's like that's like wifey right there. Bring this in. This is like off a really grid. rich <laughs> area, like this street right here. Yeah, well, they got off the grid your Valentino. Like, I know the I'm, dogs are wearing Prada. The right? dogs are wearing Prada. In all honesty, Aspen is probably like one of the richest mountains in the world. Not Definitely, not shut up, not David. Not shut up. Shut the fuck up. I don't care about Stott. God. At least in the United States, it's the richest mountain in the United States. Tonight's a big food night. Everybody's super excited about this. Gucci out, Louis out. David's got all his Dior on. Hey, let's go, Gucci. Yeah. What's your name? What kind of question is that? Louis get out of my room. room. <laughs> your room? Mm -hmm. Get out. Smell me. Smell. Just smell. Mumbai noise. What does that mean? Smell the shit that I sprayed myself. <laughs> Sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> That got blinked. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he hit you in a sweet spot. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> no. No. Yo, you no. are looking good, no. dude. No, no, no. 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 Hey. no. Hey. Dude, yeah. how long does it take me to get ready? 15? How long did it take you to get ready? Dude, it's just too skinny. Not that long, like 45 minutes. You're literally, you look like you're dressed to go to like a <laughs> soiree in south of France. What? And she's trying to pick up another one. I didn't too. come out here to be roasted. No, I mean it's all this in the best <laughs> way. Yeah, I'm it's like a sexy roasting. dad died. What's going on, man? Yeah, that's what I'm God saying. damn. That's what I'm saying. Like a sexy yeah. dad died outfit. You look fucking hot. <laughs> Have fun. I'll see you at dinner. You look really pretty. Thanks. Uh, five um, minutes. Yo, Actually, make sure you subscribe. Honest, I think she looks better when she's in her casuals, like, dude. Her casuals. What do you what do you think about that? I don't like, know. With their sweatpants, hair tied, chill with no makeup on. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of vibe. Like dude, I see it's like a your, fucking your lyric. Like Dave, roof, it's a fucking drink like, lyric. You're supposed to pick up on it. Like Aspen, rules. one of the biggest party apres ski cities in the world, and no party in Aspen bigger than a place called Cloud Nine. It's at the top of the mountain. There's no way to take a bus or a snowmobile. You have to put skis on, take two lifts to the top the mountain and ski down to it so people are skiing past us like watch this guy so ready yeah this place may be the biggest like rich people waste of money on the planet so they set the record every year as the biggest mover of Vouv Clicquot Vouv, Vouv Clicquot Vouv Clicquot champagne in the world last week someone bought a hundred bottles to just spray you don't even drink the champagne, you just spray it at the other tables. So a little fondue to start, but there's a seafood tower down there, so I'm the seafood tower. See all these? They're all getting ready, because in like 20 minutes, every one of these tables right here is going to have like 40 bottles, and they're all going to be spraying each other. Jeff has talked about this since day one. He wants to do 100 bottles, but it's like 30 racks. Oh, 
that's relaxing. Shit, man. That's good, man. <laughs> like to put little pins, little bookmarks in the moments that make me happy, guys. Yeah. And this is one of them, being up on the hill with friends. That's it. Wow, that shit looks nice, man. Looks dangerous, too, with the snow. You can break your leg. That's what it's all Let's about, fucking go. Me and Jeff just got a crazy workout. Give him a little film fucking... Film the legs, film the legs. See the legs? I don't know what to do about that. Why do you do the, the, the tights on It makes me feel tighter, and it makes my legs disappear. I know that. I didn't want to get into it. Just fucking relax for a second, all right? As you saw, we were in Aspen. Now I'm back. The first thing I did when I got back was got my face injected with needles. So if I look, look a little fucked up, I'm trying to stay young. Dixie D'Amelio tweeted last night, when do we get old? I say whatever we fucking decide to. Here in LA, we stay young as long as we want to. Uh, Normally I come on the show, I mock it. You know, I act like I'm too cool to be here. You guys know the deal. Give, every, give everything a 10 out of 10, whether they deserve it or not. This guy's the real deal. He's passionate. I would already go ahead and give this a why are you wearing glasses? Dude, you haven't even seen the burger. You can't rate it. You haven't even fucking seen it. No, I'm not allowing it. Oh, the guy. The deal with this place is they have a very special blend. It's chicken meat. It's actually not from cow. No, nope, that's wrong. It's it's ground chicken. That's incorrect. It is beef, but then he also has a percentage of pork bacon that's rolled into it. Single smash patty, cheese, buttery Martin's potato bun. That's it. That's it. This is how he wants me to eat the burger. Similar to the place when we were in uh, Melbourne. No sauce. <laughs> Wait, there's nothing. It's, is it really a burger? There's like nothing. There's no ketchup, no mustard. He goes, eat my burger like this. Three, two, one, pork bake. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. That looks so good. I'll just, I just put more cheese on that shit, bro. Beef, but then he also has a percentage of pork bacon that's rolled into it. What I would do is I'll put more cheese. I'll remove the bun and put more cheese. So I want to have the carbs, man, because the bun is like... Dang. Single smash patty, cheese, buttery Martin's potato bun, that's it. That's it. This is how he wants me to eat the burger. Similar to the place when we were in uh, Melbourne. No sauces, no ketchup, no mustard. He goes, eat my burger like this, three... In Melbourne, you know, that's Australia. Two, one, pork bacon. That's it, bro. Because <laughs> of the single patty and the cheese is really thick on it, it tastes like I'm eating a grilled cheese wow. with a little bit of bacon and meat in it. This is going to be a really hard rating. I told him about the burgers that I have at the top of my list. He goes, they're all sauce. Those are like the new age burgers. He goes, I fucking hate them. He told Jeff, he goes, I don't want onions on mine either. Yeah, That's what I knew. Yeah, I don't like onions with tomatoes. 10 out of 10 right there at that moment. But after taking a bite, I'm going to have to give it a five. Oh. Out of five. <laughs> if you do the math, okay. that is equivalent to a 10 out of 10. Hey, buddy, 10 mm -hmm. out of 10. Perfect burger. Never been done before. Five out of five. That's, That's something, new. I don't eat onions. I, I eat this. We might be related. Yeah. Right. If you could summarize your feelings towards onions in just two words, using the word onions, what would those two well, words be? Not edible. For me, onions are just... It's no, a, just two words. Like yeah. One quick sentence. Uh, you know, I, I'm not against onions. I just don't like them. One word. One word. One word. Uh, I think they overpower the taste. Uh, they, they take over the meat. Can you, can you summarize it into just one word? Yeah. Man, you spend your life. They're just like, they're too strong. I'm going city to city, driving these Lamborghinis around a track, saying this. It's like, um, it's like, the you know, the burger, that's just like the patty and everything is like a beer and beer. And then the onion is like a, a spirit, but like a 60%, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like. 60% alcohol, you get what I'm saying? you know, as fast as this Ferrari is this. And this guy comes and he brings something as meaningful, but it's a tractor that you can use to cultivate land. There's no sauce, there's no pickles, there's no onions. When's the last time you tried to get potatoes out of the ground with a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? Impossible. Mm -hmm. Impossible. Yeah. It's really hard to compare it to. I'm going to say trip burgers, pop-up tent, guy doesn't like onions, you know, Vietnam-style hat, 8.1, 8.1. Trip burgers, it's a great beef. I love pickles. I love the sauce. I like when they all play together. And more Ferraris. You love Instagram models. You love <laughs> yeah, like bullshit. Play the shit that don't matter. This guy's passionate. He's the real deal. That fucking tractor, you talked about that analogy. That's me. That's my family. That's where I come from. That's my blood. You, sir, are a cloud chaser and you changed. I'm walking. 8.1. Okay. Let's go! We fucking went ratted on me. Now we gotta get out of here in a hurry. He's like, to be honest, I don't even know who the fuck you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Coachella next weekend, me, Jeff, Tana. For this week's episode, thank you so much for working late with us. Can you say we're clocking out? We're clocking out. <laughs> Peace. Hey, let's go, man. I'll clock out too. I think. Wait, what? Okay. Todd, what did I fucking say? Dude, I thought you just finished the video. Hey, you know stop talking to the girls and come over here. Talking to Shane and 
Shannon. Shannon. I'm Shannon. Because I'm a human. You guys want to say what's up to my YouTube channel? <laughs> nice. I was behind the scenes, eh? Okay. How do we get so many people? I don't know. You counted wrong, man. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I don't care what you're filming. This is my shoe. I paid heavy money for this location. Rodrigo Rodriguez. Wait, that guy was wearing a ski mask. What are your three <laughs> rules for... Honestly, I don't even care anymore. I got what I needed. Number one was Jeff Winnick. No, it wasn't. Yes, it he was. got, no, he didn't. No, I got no, the fastest no, lap. No, you didn't. Yeah. Let's go, boys. I really hope you did enjoy, man. Be sure you subscribe, drop a like. I'll catch you on the next video. And I'm out, baby. Peace.